Well, hello and how are you? Hey, this is Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. This here would be blog number 162. Yes, sir. Blog number 162. Brought that back out to you way out here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir. You know, as I tell you every day, it's the first state capital of Missouri. Well, that being said, uh, done done my part for that. Uh, let's see what you know. What I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up pick up where I left off yesterday. I done sung a song yesterday, and I wanted to sing another song, but today I'm gonna sing some different songs and songs and some songs that have been sang out a long time ago. And here we go. I'm gonna sing this one right here for you. Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. Well, I seen my baby walking with another man today. When I asked her what's the matter, this is what I heard her say. I see you later, alligator. After a while, the crocodile. I see you later, alligator. After a while, the crocodile. Don't you know you're in my way now? Can't you see you cramp my snow? When I thought the woo of what she told me Nearly made me lose my head When I thought of what she told me It nearly made me lose my head But the next time that I saw her ever I reminded her what she said I said, I see you later, alligator. After a while, the crocodile. I see you later, alligator. After a while, the crocodile. Don't you know you're in my way now? Can't you see my scrap my tongue? You cramp my tongue. Cramp my style. I see that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pretty baby. You know my love is just for you. She said, I'm sorry, pretty daddy. You know my love is just for you. Won't you say that you'll forgive me and say your love for me is true? I said, oh, wait a minute, Gator. I know you mean it's just for play. I said, oh, wait a minute, Gator. I know you mean it just for play. Don't you really, really, don't you really hurt me? And this is what I have to say. I said, uh, I'll see you later, alligator. After a while, the crocodile. i see you later, alligator. After a while, the crocodile. Don't you know you're in my way now? Can't you see me cramp my song? I said, I'll see you later, alligator. After a while, the crocodile. I said, I'll see you later, alligator. So long, that's all. Goodbye. There you go. Hey, that was Bobby Charles. Yep, bring her on back to Bobby Charles. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Bobby Charles, a.k.a. Robert Charles Gurdy. Gurdy. Gur wrote that song and it was released in 1955 known as Later Alligator yes sir it was uh, released later on by Bill Haley and the Comets in 1956 at that time it was known as See You Later Alligator so there you go hey then we got some Rock and Robin. We're going to pull up some Rock and Robin. You know, Rock and Robin was released in 1960 by Bobby Day and written by Leon Rene, a.k.a. Jamie Thomas. You know, it's kind of weird that all these people that wrote these songs were the a.k.a.s of somebody else, you know. Uh, D Jamie Thomas was his uh, performing name, I guess. Um, but he uh, wrote the song under uh, Leon Rene, which was his real name. 
So anyway, here we go. We're going to drop on off to another song. Uh, we're just going to close that on out because we don't need it no more. And we're going to close that one out because we don't need it no more. This here one goes. Let me get a little drink of water before I even start this one here because, well, it's not the easiest little song to do. I'm going to try it off of this water mug. See if I can. We'll do this first. We got to have one of these in there today, don't we? Don't we always got to have one of those? Got to have a spasm. Come on, straw. Work with me. Okay, there we go. Hidden by Bobby Day. I says, he rocks in the treetops all the day long. Hopping and bumping and singing his song. All the little birds on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin going tweet, tweet, tweet. Rock and robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Rock and robin, tweet, 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 dee, dee. Blow, rock and robin. Cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Tweet tweet, tweedly dee dee, tweedly dee, tweedly dee dee. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird, and the tall tall oak tree, the wise old owl, the big black crow, flapping their wings, singing "Go that bird go." Said a rockin' robin, tweet tweet tweet. I said a rockin' robin. Tweet, tweetly dee dee, tweet, tweet. I said, blow a rock in my band, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Tweet, tweet, tweetly dee dee, tweetly dee dee, tweet, tweet, tweetly dee dee. The pretty little raven with a bird band stand, at the bird band stand, taught him how to do the beat, taught him how to do the bop. It was grand. They started going steady, and bless my soul, he outbopped. He outbopped. What full lyrics go on Google Play? That's not fair. I thought I had a full lyrics. <laughs> Dog on it. So, anyway, we're going to cut that one short. He rock in the treetops all the day long. Rockin' and a-bumpin' and a-singin' his song. Rock and robin. Beep bop. Bobbity bop bop. Actually, it's tweet tweet. Tweetly dee dee. Tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. tweet. Anyway, that's not fair. Yeah, well... We're going to pause for a stace and identification. That's right, folks. This is Shenandoah Briscoe, and I've got a blog on Hello and How Are You. You're tuned into it right now. I also have a Facebook page called Hello and How Are You. Just remember, that's YA, not YOU. Anytime you tune in, be, be sure that you uh, invite your friends to tune in, too. Anytime you watch one of my videos, go ahead and uh, like it on YouTube and then also like it on my page. Please invite your friends to watch. Thank you for this brief introduction, intermission. There we go. Hey, 
I thought I'd throw out a new commercial. You know how it goes. You know, there is one commercial that I do like to stick to, and you know what that one is. Yes, sir, if you ever find yourself in Columbia, South Carolina, stop yourself into the Hilton Inn, because at the Hilton Inn Northeast, you're going to find yourself some good people to work with. That's right. There are some fine people at the Hilton Inn. Now, I'm not going to tell you about all the Hilton Inns because the Hilton Inn Northeast in South Carolina, Columbia is the only one I've really stopped in at. Now, I'm sure it is a chain and they are probably working at being just as good. So, that being said, maybe I should expand myself to all the Hilton Inns. Maybe I'll go on down and take another look at another one down here. I've got one not too far down away from my home. I could probably step in there and take a look, see? See what kind of provisions they've got for the handicapped accessible folks. And you know what? Maybe I'll just become a ordinary, everyday spokesperson for the Hilton Inn Association. Could be. If I was to do that, you know... I'm always looking for sponsors. You know what I'm saying? All right. Anyway, hey, you won't find a better staff, though, other than that there Hilton Inn out there in South Carolina. I tell you, they took care of me. They knew what I needed, and they provided it professionally. They also had some things that a lot of people don't even understand. A lot of people don't understand that you might need whenever you're in a wheelchair and you're in a handicapped situation like myself. You might need a roll-in shower. Well, they've got one to provide for you. You might need a swimming pool that you might want to get into. Well, they've got a, a swivel lift that'll spin you right well. As soon as you get out of your chair and into that chair, it'll swivel you right on down around and into the pool. And that's not only for, that's handicap stuff. I'm not talking right now only handicap stuff. They have put on a breakfast for you. It ain't no continental breakfast neither. It's a full-fledged breakfast. You can get waffles. And you can get uh, pancakes. You can get eggs. You can get sausage. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, and what would a breakfast be without bacon? That's right, folks. You can get bacon. <laughs> All right. Hey, that being said, you know, if y'all tune in, you hear this regularly. Because that's the way I put it. I loved it. I spent a little time there. Spent about, what, oh, four, four days, I think, there at the Hamilton Inn. And Hampton Inn. Hamilton. But they, if my, my head wasn't fastened on, I'd forget where it was. And I... You know, I've got some screws loose up in there in the back of my neck, and so maybe my head won't be fastened on much longer. Got to be careful with that, you know. Anyway, hey. Oh, ping. oh wow. 13 minutes gone already? But, hey, I wasn't ready for that. I was telling y'all yesterday about my mammy and my peppy and my dad got so drunk my mom wrecked the car. Well, <laughs> I got some feedback on that. The road that I was looking for was not on Jungerman Road. The pronunciation of Jungerman Road is Jungerman. It's spelt with a J and that throws me off all the time. As a matter of fact, I could probably find the road that they that uh he actually lived on which would be easy enough doodle doodle doom let's see we'll just go right over here dun 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 right over here I think this is where I want to be I'm going to bring this over here 
and won't blow it up. Where am I at? We'll come back over this way. Because I can find this place easy enough. Wait a minute. That's Mugi. There we go. Barkwood Trails. I think that's where we're looking. Will it? Sutter's Mill Road. Yeah, I think that's where we're wanting to go. Autumn Leaf Drive. That sounds pretty much like it. Autumn Leaf Drive. Wait a minute. Put that back. Take that off. Go to this. Yeah, it sound, that looks kind of like it. Let me see, though. No, maybe not. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, I think it's over here somewhere. Pine Tree Street and Circle Way. Here. Oh, whoops. Whoa. Yeah, I think these are more like it. <laughs> of the Cross Lutheran Church. Because you used to have to cut off this back road here to get there. Yep. I think it's more like back in here off of uh, Pine Tree Street. Pine Tree Court. Honor Pass. You went on that road. Then you turned off of that road and you got there. And this doesn't look like there's any way to get there from here. So that can't be it. Oh no, this is it. Yeah, Aguara Drive, Kathleen, Philadelphia, Phyllis Satire Court. I don't know. Anyway, it's back in there somewhere off of you know, Youngerman Road. I just don't remember exactly where. I know it's behind the Papa John's. I know you had to get in there that way to get to it. But anyway, it's now a Papa John's. I don't know what it was back then. But I tell you what, you know what, I think my time's about up. Oh, by golly, it sure is. All right, hey, this here's Shenandoah Briscoe saying, 
Hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I. So, be blessed and we'll see you tomorrow, alright? Alrighty then. Didn't mean to lag on at the end there looking for directions, but hey, sometimes I just do what I have to do. Alrighty then. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.